Not so long ago, I made a video about the faction wars in Clear Sky and how to join the different groups available to the player. After seeing this, some people have asked me to do the same with Shadow of Chernobyl. The problem is that at first glance, Shadow of Chernobyl doesn't let the player join any faction. Sure, you can decide to help certain groups, gaining their trust and friendship, while making other enemies. This most notably happens if you take part in the conflict between duty and freedom. However, the marked one is not allowed to properly become a member of any faction, apart from his default affiliation with the loners. But is that really true? Hello stalkers and welcome to the Anomalous Dugout. In this video we will investigate the possibility of joining factions in Shadow of Chernobyl. Let us start directly by getting this out of the way. To this day, nobody has discovered a way to join duty. As I said before, you can become friend with them by doing their missions, but you cannot become a member of the group. What is interesting, however, is the fact that joining factions was supposed to be a feature at some point, and duty was one of the options. It even appears that in some versions of the game's scenario, the marked one was to join duty no matter what. However, these IDs were scrapped, and it is impossible to enlist in duty in the final game. All that's left of the concept is a string of dialogue hidden in the game's files, which appears to be an oath sworn by the marked one. I, a stalker known as the marked one, swear to defend the goals and ideals of duty, to protect the earth from the dangers of the zone, to seek out and destroy anything it spawns within and beyond its borders, to fight any non-conformists, be they individual stalkers or groups, and to give my life in the name of justice and order on earth. Anyway, that was removed from the game. Now, let's move on to freedom. Much like duty, it appears that the player was supposed to be able to join them, but the developers changed their minds and decided to cut the feature. Hopefully for us, a mistake was made, and if you perform a very precise series of actions, it is still possible to become a freedom member. Yes, you heard me correctly, you can join Freedom in Shadow of Chernobyl, and it is actually the only joinable faction in the game. But enough chit chat, now I'll show you how to do it. According to the wiki, there are two different ways to do it, but I will only showcase the best one. All you have to do is make sure that you never went to the barrier before making this. First, go to Lukash and tell him about the duty squad at the farm. This will trigger Freedom's first mission to destroy Skull and his men. Talk to Max and get on the job. I like to use this shortcut. Just knife the wall and the passage will be open. Then deal with the duty guys. You can do it alone or wait for Max and his men to arrive and support you. It will work either way. After Skull's squad is done with, go back to Lukash. He will now give you the task to deal with the snitch. So go to the farm and wait for Pavlik to call in his contact, who turns out to be a mercenary. Then kill both of them. The other way to join Freedom apparently involves failing this mission, but why should I do that if I can complete it successfully and still pull it off? Anyway, after that's done, you need to go to the barrier. The important thing is to do it without getting back to Lukash in between. After killing Pavlik and Ara, go straight to the barrier. There, Cap will ask you to help with pushing back a monolith attack. Just do as he says, kill the monolithians, 
and complete the mission by talking to Cap again. Now you can go back to Lukash, report to him about the snitch, then talk to him again. There he should accept you into the Freedom Clan. From now on, you are officially part of the faction. This means that Freedom Stalkers are friendly towards you, and their trader will give you discounts. But the side effects of this are immense. Obviously you are now an enemy of duty, which means that going to the bar is a bit more difficult. You'll have to kill the duty stalkers, but also some of the loners. Hopefully the people in the bar will remain neutral, and you can still talk to barkeep. But there are also other interesting side effects, as you are now neutral with the bandits and the mercenaries, and enemy with the ecologists. Yes, that's quite weird, since Freedom isn't really supposed to be friend with any of these factions, and especially not with the mercenaries. But considering that joining Freedom is kind of a bug in the first place, I'm not really surprised. So to the person who once asked me if there is any way to interact with bandits in Shadow of Chernobyl, well, yes, there is. Unfortunately, they don't have any interesting things to say, except for one particular bandit who is found in the garbage. If you've played the game for a while before joining Freedom, then it's possible that you've killed this guy already, especially since there is a job from Sidrovich to deal with him and his friend. But if somehow you let him alive, this bandit will remain here for the rest of the game. If you have joined Freedom, you'll be able to talk to him, and he will have some unique lines of dialogues. For some reason, these quotes were supposed to be told in the cordon, as the bandit will tell you about the broken bridge, and the fact that you can pay Major Kuznetsov to let you go through. Now, another interesting effect of being neutral to the bandits is the possibility of visiting their base in the Dark Valley. Indeed, if you join Freedom before going to the Dark Valley, you will be able to witness a few details that you might have missed otherwise. For once, you won't be able to help Bullet, since he's now hostile to you. Then you can see what happens to his friend, who is taken to the factory. Looks like the bandits just execute him. And inside the bandit base, there is something else going on with one of the other duty scouts. I'll give you everything. Ну давайте пособирайся. Боров сказал отвезти этого болвана на старую фабрику. He's really pissing me off. This is the third time in a week. Did you hear that? Man, I have a bad feeling about this. I don't want to leave the camp. Mm-hmm. А у меня есть идея. Get in the pit, asshole. No, I won't jump there, even if you shoot me! As you wish. Death solves all problems. No man, no problem. We'll tell Bo that we delivered the prisoner as requested. Because of your neutral status with the bandits, it is now very easy to reach Borov. However, you will still have to kill him in order to take the key to Lab X18. If you do it with stealth, the other bandits should not come after you. Finally, there is one last thing we need to check, which is the relation with the mercenaries and ecologists. So, if you go to the wild territory for the first time, there is a merc operation going on. But if you are with freedom, they will completely ignore you, staying neutral, and you cannot even talk to them. However, the ecologists are now enemies for some reason. This means that you cannot talk to Krugloff, and so you cannot help him. In fact, he will try to kill you on sight. If we continue to Yentar, the other ecologists are also enemies. However, it is still possible to talk to them inside the bunker, 
and you can't do trading with Sakharov. Furthermore, it is impossible to complete the mission to take measurements, since Semenov will instantly attack you as soon as he exits the bunker. Yet, this is not a big deal, as this task is not actually required to progress in the game. If you fail it, Sakharov will give you an unadjusted Psy helmet instead of an adjusted one. But in reality, there is no practical difference between the two. So you can go on with the main story and go to Lava X16 without any problems. Anyway, these were some of the interesting things that might happen if you decided to join Freedom. And as far as we know, it is not possible to join any other faction. So that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you learned something, Stalker. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.